Corsair literally just made the craziest keyboard I've ever seen in my life. I've always wanted a keyboard company make to make this and now they have. Introducing the Corsair K1 RGB. That's right. For you gamers out there, this keyboard's gonna be the best thing you've ever used. So it is the Corsair K1 RGB optical mechanical gaming keyboard. Typical Corsair branding. The only key you'll ever need. What key is that? The F key. I never type anything else. It's literally the only key I ever use. Thank you to Corsair for sponsoring this video. 100% Corsair OPX key switch. That's their optical switch, one millimeter actuation and 3.2 millimeter travel for that quick reaction speed. Not one gigabyte, not four gigabytes, 32 gigabytes of onboard storage with dynamic profile system. Do you know how many profiles you can store on that? I don't, but I know you can store thousands of songs, you know, based on the old iPods. All the keys, 100% anti-ghosting. Never ever press a key without it actuating and registering with your computer. Also, life-changing USB 5.0 pass-through port. I don't know how many times better than USB 3.0, but 5.0 is two numbers higher than three, so must be a win. It's even got a finger rest for your finger. Well, let's see what's up in the box. Look at that close-up. Beautiful. No knife needed this time. No axe, no karambits, no need to show off the purchases that I've regretted in the past. Big, thick piece of foam. Could put this inside it or some sound dampening. A second thicker piece of foam. More sound dampening for all your keyboard needs. A wire. Can I tell you what kind? No. I do not know what kind of wire this is. You know, something that looks like you could put into your PC. But you know, I'm not really an expert PC builder. I'm just not that smart. Okay, I lied. I do need to get my knife accessories. Okay, so far I've showed you the axe, the karambit, the mini knife, and one more. I don't remember that other one. But here, I have a mini cloud sword for all of you who have played Final Fantasy 7. Except it's mini, so I can wield it with my small hands. Oh yes, okay. I'm ready to wield it. Please, let's hope no accidents happen today, like every day. A fire extinguisher won't help me from this one. Nice. There's that cable I was talking about, you know, comes from a computer of some sort. I'll figure it out. I'm sure it comes with a manual. We'll figure it out. Second package is a beautiful braided cable, black and gray, USB-C to USB-C ends. And of course, Corsair logo, more cables, lots of ca lots of things, lots of things. Let's open this one. This is a doohickey. It connects to your computer via a USB port. And then I'm assuming that this USB-C cable goes to the other USB-C thing and this Part takes the light piece. I'm making up names. I hope it's making sense for you like it is making sense for me. And then this one. What is this? I think it's a Corsair controller for LEDs and it's got a thing. This will go somewhere. I'll have to look it up. It will be okay. I understand computers enough. So you know it's a really big box and there's not a lot of stuff in it. I mean there is. There's like five different things. But it's a, it's a big box like it would be a hundred percent keyboard. But it's actually one percent. Always wanted something like this my entire life. Mmm, exquisite. There it is. K1 RGB at its finest. Wow. Thicker than my hand. Got a wheel. Got a button. Optical switch. Let's hear it. Mmm, nice. So here we go. At this point, it's a puzzle. I'm just gonna do some googling. IQ Lightning Node Pro RGB Lighting Control. Wait, lighting? Lighting? Lighting twice? Why? $64 brings stunning RGB. Okay, this, this keyboard's got RGB. Remember, it's called the K1 RGB. Connects to your PC using a 2.0 port. Oh, that's it. Then what is this? Oh, here we go. Port right here. Let's find the wire that does that, which is this one. And it goes straight in like so. All right, step one complete. 
Step two. What is step two? To install a lighting node core, simply mount the unit to an open location in your case. Plug the nine pin USB cable from the lighting node core into an available internal USB 2 header on your motherboard. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to open up my computer case, install my IQ controller, come back and plug in my keyboard. So I will be right back. Okay, I have taken apart my computer, I've connected everything and I have it working. It is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of the best I've ever seen. You ready for it? There it is. So first impression so far, the Corsair logo engraved into it and with RGB poking out. It's sort of a fingerprint magnet, you know? I'm not gonna touch it very often, but oh, look at that. Ooh, the back is a nice touch, nice soft material. It's going to prevent it from sliding all over your mat. And if you look at it at just the right angle you can see right there Corsair logo and Corsair cut out in there so it is two removable pieces you've got your finger rest right here magnetically clipped in that's a that's a wow it's a, whoop a strong magnet so it is USB-C new technology of course you know Corsair is growing okay they're tired of being called the company that just won't make detachable cables this year 2022 they're finally understanding that people like to change it up unless that's just me that could be just me maybe I'm a keyboard hoarder or something <laughs> it's not true it's not true at all so other features you see is this ribbed design design here similar to Corsair's wrist rest it's meant for your finger to just rest gently on top of there and prevent it from sliding around when you're just intensely gaming you know when you're intensely gaming your finger it needs somewhere somewhere to stay when you're intensely gaming pressing all your buttons going back and forth other design elements they included their slash slash k1 they started implementing that last year I dig it I think it's fashionable it's stylish it's sleek and you also have a thick piece of metal there, making sure that this product is extremely sturdy. It's not gonna break on you, you know? No flex or anything when it comes to this bad boy. Let's check out that keycap. Okay, so we've got a nice thick double shot PBT keycap. Nice bump there, so you know exactly what key you're pressing. That F key. It's aligned properly right smack dab in the middle. That's when you know something's quality. Nice texture, not super smooth, and it is PBT. PBT. So it's not gonna get dirty or anything. It's clean. Let's take a look at that switch. This is Corsair's OPX Silver, meant specifically for really fast gaming. They could have opted for Cherry MX here. They could have used Cherry MX Silver. They could have used Cherry MX Red, but no, they went for their optical switch for the finest, the fastest, and the most RGB. I mean, that RGB is beautiful. Take a look at that in the dark. Wow, nice glow. And what do we have here? We've got a headphone jack, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a scroll wheel on the right side for volume. They really conveniently change your volume while you're gaming. Okay, you can game with the right hand, right? Get that left thumb. Yeah, turn that up. Turn that thing up. Okay, that's all interesting and all. But we want to know the real details, okay? What's it sound like? I will tell you exactly what it sounds like, and I will tell you exactly what it out outputs when I type. Are you ready for this? Well, there you go, folks. Smooth as butter, like a butter slicing through hot knife. That's what that key feels like. Mm, love it. When would you use something like this? There are several situations that I can come up with. One, when you're playing your favorite FPS game and someone snipes you across the map. You didn't even know they were looking at you down their sights. Why the heck were they looking at you? You're dead. Boom. Press that key. Press F to pay respects, right? Second situation. You're playing GTA. 
five, of course, the good one, and you just robbed a car. You go down the road where the red light is at. You stop someone. You're like, excuse me, sir. I need to borrow your car. They say, no, no way. What do you do? You open up their door. You pull them and throw them out on the, the street where another car just happened to be going pretty fast, you know, towards them and uh, continues to move forward even after hitting them. What do you do? Press a button. Press F to pay respects. Rest in peace, old person that uh, owns the car that I now drive. That happens. Here's another one, okay? You're playing an old game. It's called Old School RuneScape. Okay, I've been playing it a lot. You go to slay the dragon and you go to the bank. You get all your gear. You get your, your armor. You get your shield, food, potions, everything you need to kill this dragon. Okay, you run for 10 minutes across the map because it's basically a walking simulator. You go to the dragon and you're like, well, I forgot my anti-dragon fire shield. Press F. Gosh darn it. Now you gotta walk 10 minutes across the map again to go to your bank to get that shield out. You walk 10 minutes back to kill the dragon. And then the dragon kills you first. Now, while we've been talking about those situations, okay, you can see that this keyboard has one gigantic weakness. And that is that it's too lightweight. You know how in the mouse industry, they're like the lighter, the better. It doesn't work like that in keyboard land. You can't just get lighter and lighter and lighter and then start poking holes all around your mouse and cutting out different parts and things and you know who who needs this piece we don't even need that all we need is the front of the mouse like that look how lightweight that is but this keyboard is too lightweight even the cable it just drags it down like i'm not touching anything it's just it's just moving because the cable is a little bit too heavy now if they had made this cable ultra lightweight and combined it with this keyboard i think we would be seeing a really good product here so very lightweight throw this in your bag your fanny pack your purse your shorts pockets wherever it's super lightweight separate it into two parts put this one in your pocket put this one in the other one and then when you're ready to game just Snap it back together and you are ready. You're ready to own the world. The only key you'll ever need. There's only one thing that is missing now, and that is a way to change all the RGB modes. I can't do this breathing RGB thing. Now I need another button, maybe on the side, a button that can just toggle different RGB effects. That would be a game changer, okay? And we could make this finger rest bigger for it to accompany the entire palm. It's not super ergonomic if you're to rest here. Your finger would have to be doing something like this. You're looking like a zombie alien thing trying to press this. Instead, I would make this higher, you know, add a, add a bigger hump where you can just rest it like that. Do that and this thing, it's going to make millions. I just know it. Okay, we've looked at everything, thought about all the situations where this would be used, plugged it in, checked out the RGB sound test. You need a final sound test, don't you? pretty pretty smooth this thing is super cool i cannot wait to upgrade this keyboard i have a bunch of ideas that i want to do to it okay i'm gonna change that switch out maybe maybe i don't know if i can engineer some kind of optical thing going on maybe decorate the finger rest and of course change out that keycap something that just screams i'm a gamer you know i hope you all enjoyed this video be sure to check out this product down below it's the first link in the description corsair is actually changing the game right now one percent keyboards okay who's done it nobody